Genesis 12 and 1. The Lord said to Abram, Leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. As I reflect, I realize that the past season was a season where my preparation felt like I was hidden, kind of dormant. But in this season, my preparation is active. There's movement and there are direct commands. Literally, like God said, you, come here. And because God is good and because of how he showed up in my dormant season, I'll respond. Will you? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Malaysia Simone, and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I'm so upset because I started recording and I wasn't even recording. I looked at my camera roll and it was a picture. It was a picture. But <laughs> welcome to my vlog. Um, I am currently getting myself together because I'm going on one of my, literally my first, uh, traveling things for business, like legit, this is for business. I'm going to impact weekend, um, in Atlanta. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I have to prepare my home and prepare myself for me leaving so that means i have to meal prep i have to buy the things that i need so that i can go away i have to do my hair i have to clean my makeup brushes all the things so that's what y'all gonna be seeing my preparation for my purpose my preparation for my purpose like i really i know that this is like my coming out weekend you know um i went through so much in this last year like I got my own suite uh, doing hair, then I rented it out, then I lost it, and then I had a hair company, and then God told me to rebrand it, and then God said, wait on it, and now I'm like, he's just lining everything, in and I think that's so dope, and we'll get into that more um, at a later time, but I'm about to go to Gabe's uh, to get a suitcase, and I just left Target, as y'all seen, I got me a vacuum and some other stuff, I'll do a haul when I get home, I got a few stops to make today, so, let's rock out. Y'all, so, the quality might change, because I switched my camera around, so I can see myself, but look at this, I think this looks so cute in my office, I'm changing my office around, um, into, like, a dressing room, and I just think that this chair is perfect, for sitting am i i feel like i kind of wanted to go down some more but like cushion but i feel like this is a nice chair it's only 80 dollars but i don't have the big truck so like i can't get it right now but i do know that they have like the target bookcases in here so maybe i can find that and put that together so when i come back i can make some more content so I'm gonna be out on the lookout for those. <laughs> got the one that I showed you guys when I was leaving I seen a cuter one um, but I now think that me and Sarah got the same one um, I'm a little tired not gonna lie I don't know if it's because of what I ate I don't normally like eat pork or anything like that um, or cheese and uh, when I got the little sizzly thing from Wawa it had both because I couldn't find the turkey one and i'm like i could take the l with the cheese you know what i'm saying but the pork i really think that that's like baby tired or like my body's just like i need some extra help processing this um so i also didn't have restful sleep last night um i not took a nap like a power nap yesterday like an hour nap but i did not like rest last night like i slept all night but i did not rest like it wasn't restful um so right now i'm at kroger and i have to meal prep it just works better for the both of us if we meal prep i'm going to make turkey legs well turkey wings turkey wings over rice 
with vegetables. I seen a recipe for these salmon burgers, salmon and shrimp burgers that I'll probably eat like over a salad or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. let me go ahead. I'm the one, oh, I'm the one you're looking for When you call me, I, I'm the one, I'm the one. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm back in the kitchen Hopefully you guys can hear me, my AirPod died my hair looks crazy. Um, I just don't fit. I, I feel some friction, but I'm fine. I'm getting through it. I'm crossing off stuff on my to-do list. I've been getting some business stuff done. Um, I did it. I laid down for a little bit. I got car sick on the way to get Tropical Smoothie. And that kind of like threw me for a loop. But now I'm making dinner. I'm making like the gravy that's supposed to go in it. She used milk, flour, butter, olive oil, and seasonings, and she poured it in there with the stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have oat milk because that's the closest thing to milk flavor that I found, um, extra creamy. And I've been using these two seasonings that I showed you guys, the roasted garlic and the Montreal steak. I mean, Montreal chicken so I already add the Montreal chicken in it so I'm gonna go ahead and add more roasted garlic and add some flour I'm sure it doesn't need a lot of flour I made gravy before obviously um, so kind of just needs like a thickening agent this should be more than enough I'm gonna use the whole thing and I'll mix it up Got some melted butter. Like, this is what it looks like. This is what it's looking like. It smells good right now. <laughs> it smells good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Can I see it? I'm gonna go ahead and pour. And 
feel like I should season it some more because it didn't get to marinate long. Um, now the fat from the chicken is going to get up in it. The juices from the chicken going to get up in it. You know, so I like using these seasonings because they're, they're like one-stop shop. If you don't know how to cook, just use these. If you don't feel like cooking, just use these. So here's what she's looking like. Can y'all see that? She smells bomb. <sighs> she smells bomb. Um, I did throw some in the air fryer too. Um, so then my husband can have something for work. This is what they look like in the air fryer. They're not gonna have all the like the juice and sopped upness and everything, but they're still gonna be delicious. swish and just get all this stuff off the side of the, the thing and go back over it like that just to get some more liquid in there it's not that much liquid but I'm gonna cover it I don't know how long it's supposed to be in there for but we gonna start cleaning up <laughs> Um, I do still have to make the shrimp and the salmon, but I'll probably make that this evening so that tomorrow I don't have to cook at all. I'll just heat stuff up. I'm about to make us some rice. Something came up on my For You page on TikTok, and it was basically talking about be careful of, this, of what you receive, um, what you accept, what you receive, and like accepting that you're having a bad day and accepting that you're sick and all that type of stuff like accepting that you're just moody today and all of that is literally like you accepting tricks of the enemy like accepting um women are naturally receivers not givers even in their like the way we interact sexually like we receive um things come into us so it's just like be careful what comes into you what you allow to come into you allow what you accept from other people like like be careful pay attention to what you allow um because you easily submitting to what is given to you puts you into sin that's how we get out of line that's how we feel down that's how we feel overwhelmed that's how we feel frustrated that's how we start to feel depressed like anxious and all of that and so like that res really resonated with me and it's just like maybe I'm, it's nothing that, like i'm doing the things like i'm pushing myself i'm getting it done but it's like what things are happening to me or what things are being said to me in my head around me that i'm submitting to that don't align with god's will that are not fruits of the spirit i've been saying that out loud like you need to speak to the enemy and ladies just like that is not me that is not what I accept. That is not what I receive. That is not what I want. That is not what I desire. That is not who I am. And let it roll off your back. So we're going to wash our rice. Put the rice on. And... <sighs> Sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm going to put this back in the oven. And run to get halo literally run turn the oven down to 350 i'm gonna take this and my keys and we're heading out the door to go get halo Y'all, y'all can see the fatigue on my face. <sighs> the food is busting. I'm about to have a second so helping. Um, I ate after I picked Halo up around 5:30. Um, it's eight o'clock. I'm about to get another chip piece of chicken wing. I only have one. Um, and then she's eating a wing and some rice. I'm so proud of her for eating it. We got bath done. She's relaxed. Um, 
and I'm finna get cozy. I've been in this tight workout gear all day. My husband's like, how you wear something cute for gym? And you ain't go to the gym. Gym and vacuuming um, are the only things I didn't get do done today. And I just feel like that could be done tomorrow. Woo! And I think I'm gonna pack um, my resistance bands and stuff like that so I can get a workout at the hotel. The hotel that we're staying at should be like pretty nice. Um, so they might have a gym there and I might bust out a dark mini up in there. But that may or may not be the case. I need to look that up tonight. I'm excited. I'm also exhausted. Ah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.